everyone. I hope you're all really, really well. Hope you're all having a lovely week so far. It's currently Monday morning. Um, I last spoke to you guys on Friday and Jamie's made great progress this weekend. Um, I'm just about to actually show you guys my walk-in wardrobe room progress, um, which I'm honestly just so incredibly happy with. Jamie's actually been building it all weekend. Um, what advice would you give to anyone looking to build an IKEA Pax wardrobe? Start early. <laughs> start early? Allow oh yeah. Time. So we start, we, Jamie, started building on Friday evening, but it was quite late. Um, I'd say you probably got majority of it done on Saturday daytime. Then finished a few bits off this morning because Jamie was a little bit worse for wear yesterday. Do you remember that time you told everyone about um, my drunk antics? No. Do you think it's time for me to tell a tale? No. I don't know what you mean. I'll keep your secrets under wrap, don't worry. <laughs> Let's just say, Jamie's nursing a two day hangover and I've never seen so much sick in my entire life. Anyway, so the IKEA Pax wardrobe, at the end of this video I'm gonna kind of get a list of everything together that I actually ordered just in case you're looking for like the exact same wardrobe because when you are designing an IKEA Pax wardrobe there's just so many options and you do get a little bit carried away. Um, I added like lighting to all of mine at the beginning and then I took it all out because I was just like you don't, you don't need Oh, someone at the door. Just like Gemma, do you know what? You don't need lights in your wardrobe. Like little things you really can, they really can become very, very expensive after you've added like all of the special little bits. So I'm gonna talk you through mine. And at the end of the video, I'll make lists of everything that I actually ordered and I'll let you guys know the price as well. Cause I think that's really handy to know. I wouldn't have had a serious. When I ordered them, I didn't really have a clue what I was doing. And I feel like it would have been nice to have seen someone else's. Um, because this is the very reason. They're a lot bigger than you'd expect. A lot, a lot bigger. So one mistake I made, which I don't want you guys to make the same mistake, is when you're designing them, you have to put the dimensions of your room in. And I did all of that absolutely fine, which I'm, I'm pretty, what have you got there? Duvet set. Ah, uh, duvet set. Yeah, we had to get a new one, guys. Because Jamie puked all over it. Back to the IKEA packs. So you put in your dimensions of the room and then I didn't even think right to put the dimensions of the ceiling in because I just thought every ceiling's the same height. Um, make sure you do because I had no idea how tall these wardrobes would be. Luckily they fit like perfectly. It's the most perfect, tightest fit ever. And if they would have been like an inch bigger, they wouldn't have fit and it just would have been a nightmare. Five mil apparently in it. Um, but yeah, it would have been a nightmare because there were like 20 plus boxes delivered. So to get that all returned would have just been honestly such hassle. Here is the start of my walk-in wardrobe. I'm honestly just, I, I'm so happy. You can see here just how tall they are. <laughs> they literally touch the ceiling. They are honestly huge. When you design them on IKEA packs, I don't know, it just looks so much smaller on a screen, so I was really pleasantly surprised with just like how roomy these are. Um, I did initially order a little one, like the size of one door, to go here, but the, the only things that weren't available were the, the smaller frames, and we were actually going to have to go to Ikea to pick them up, but I feel like I might not even... I might not even get the frame because I kind of like having this little gap. I was thinking of putting like a nice vase in here with some pampas, kind of like the one in the bedroom. Um, and I feel like I've got, I mean, I've got plenty of storage here. So when you do IKEA packs, you order every single thing separately. So you order your doors separately, your handles separately, um, your rails inside separately, your drawers, like everything is completely customized. So let me show you inside. You start with the size of your frame. So these are all completely separate wardrobes. So if you would just like one of these, you can totally do that. Um, so you order the frame first, and then you obviously choose what you want inside. So I've got a few different things in mind. So in this one, I just chose two rails. Um, 
I can actually only reach up to here. So we've got a little bit of space up here, which I'm thinking of maybe just putting a shelf up there just for extra storage, but I'm not too sure yet. Next one, again, there's two rails in this one as well. I'm always in need of just loads of like hanger space. And then this one's pretty cool. So this one is a corner unit. Um, so when you're designing on Ikea packs, you'll, it will kind of tell you what you can and can't put where, if that makes sense. Um, and if you're doing like an L-shaped wardrobe like mine, you'll need to get a corner unit, which has obviously one handle, and then this one comes out as well. And in here I've got just one rail, and this one I'm going to use for kind of like longer things, like long coats, dresses, anything that's, you know, too long to go in the two rail wardrobe and then I've got a little shelving bit here which is going to be so helpful I think I might put I'm not too sure shoes or bags on here can you come and stand in a wardrobe so I can um show everyone how how big they are mm -hmm. Jamie's got his hungover nuts that's what we're going to call them <laughs> that's all he could eat yesterday nuts So I feel like you can see how big, oh my God, you can see how big they are now. Now that it's like in comparison to a human. And then I've also got as well a black curtain pole to go here. Um, and the same white linen curtains which are in the bedroom. Um, I'm going to stay with just very minimal black and white kind of vibes in here. I think it will just look really nice. I'm so excited guys to like put my clothes away. It's going to be so nice just to have a place for everything. I feel like this room is one that I've been the most excited about. Then moving on to this one, we have a rail again, but I went for one of these, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of regretting my decision because this is basically for like, obviously trousers. Um, but I think I would have maybe benefited from a rail more. I mean, we'll see, I got excited about the like choices. I mean, the good thing is you can change it. Like, if I don't get along with this, I'll just get another one of those. Love these handles, by the way. I was kind of stuck between the matte black ones or the gold, but I felt like matte black was just, I don't know. Going through everything else. It does. So, last wardrobe. I actually asked you guys whether I should put doors on this one or keep it open, and I'm really glad that I got doors. I just feel like it, it makes everything stay a lot tidier. I'm not the best at putting clothes away, I won't lie. And I feel like with open, you know, like the open wardrobes, you have to be on top of it all the time, otherwise it just looks a mess. So I've got another rail up here, and then these drawers, which again, online they look tiny, they're absolutely huge. Like these are huge drawers. Look at them, <laughs> look at my hand. I don't know what happened, I think some of my um, face fake tan leaked, and I'm stuck with a hand that looks like this, but, Look how big they are. So happy with my wardrobes. I can't even begin to tell you just how nice it feels to have a place for everything. It honestly just is an absolute dream. And I'm super excited to see this room finished. I'll keep you updated as always. Um, job for now is, here's all my clothes. <laughs> so I think plan for now is, I'm gonna, hmm, I don't really know how to tackle this. I guess I'm just gonna have to get everything out and then sort through it. Not really too sure what I'm going to use for each again. I might kind of do the same thing as I did when I was unpacking and just put everything away for now and then have a day where I get everything out and properly organise it because um, otherwise I just spend way too much time like procrastinating, thinking about what I'm going to put where. I'd rather just get it all away and then organise it later. I'm on light switching off duties. Got to stand here and wait for this light to go off <laughs> so Jamie can turn the electrics off. Honestly, I'm very impressed with Jamie. He's an electrician, a carpenter, um, a plumber, a jack of all trades, really. Very handy when you've... It's off! Lights off. So, plans for today are, I will show you the light once Jamie's put that up. I can't believe you're putting that up for me today. Why? Because I feel like you almost give me a limit of things that you can build per day. Well, I've built everything in the bloody house. <laughs> Yeah, I know, but like, I feel a bit cheeky if he's done one thing. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I feel like I'll have to ask him that tomorrow. Here he goes. Here he goes. Up his ladder again. <laughs> I've got the wrong thing out. Oh, no. I don't even need a multimeter. I need a screwdriver. Oh, 
That's the that's what hangover will do to you. So much I love how the black of this goes with the black handles I just think it really makes the room very very happy with it indeed Jamie thinks it's too low but I love it it is let, let me demonstrate yes but you're taller than me I'm going to do it just fine <laughs> you'll just have to walk round it oh, my knees. <laughs> so guys please excuse my Sweaty face. It goes really well. So hot. It looks really nice, doesn't it? And the black and the black lines. It's exactly what I just said. We're on the same on the same page. See we honestly there. think there's something wrong with upstairs <laughs> in this house. It's so hot, isn't it? Like it feels like the heating's on, but it's not. It's honestly guys, it there's like it's oh it's so hot. I'm not just constantly sweaty. We've got underfloor heating downstairs and we did wonder if it was on, but I mean like the floor's not warm. So it can't be on. Um, so just received um, our Tesco food delivery and the guy was so nice, he came in and like put it out on the worktops. And I've never experienced that. Usually they just dump it at the front door. So I was, I was pretty impressed with that. I just thought I'd show you guys a quick little grocery haul. I know you guys love a food shopping haul just as much as I do. Um, I just got some kind of like top up bits. We've still got a few bits from last week's food shop. Um, so I just got some lemon and limes. I'm gonna make some of my lemon and ginger tonic this week. Got some basil, some coriander, tender stem brock, avocados, because we get through a lot of these, like on toast and stuff. Um, British courgettes. One what have I just spotted? What? What have you just spotted? What's that grey ball of fluff doing? <laughs> Where? It looks like a mouse. Down there, come here. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, can you see that? This. So, basically, my sister told me a story about what birds do when they build their nest. And basically, every time I brush Tilly or Teddy, I get their fur and I put it outside because I can just imagine like a bird building its nest and having this gorgeous lining of Tilly and Teddy's hair and I, I hate throwing it in the bin now but turns out uh, the birds haven't used it this time and it's ended up in the field so. But what, what happens to it as well when it rains and it all gets matted into the gravel and stuff? The birds will come and get it. I've not seen a bird on it yet. It makes me feel sad though. Oh my god, I'm so hot. Are you hot? It's hot, yeah. Back to the food haul. I got baby cucumbers, which I was really happy about because Tesco have been out of stock of these for ages and these are gorgeous. In the fridge, so they're like really crispy and cold and then dipped in hummus. That's like one of my favourite snacks ever. Then I also got some Pepsi Cherry Max, best drink in the whole world. Some tuna, I made the other day actually these tuna wraps. Um, and I used tuna mayo, um, tuna mayo, red onion, cheese, and avocado. And I like put it in a wrap and toasted it and it was unreal. So I stocked up on tuna so I could make more of those. If you guys haven't tried this, it's so nice. I made a curry with it the other day and it's like really easy. <laughs> All you do is cook the spices first. Obviously cook your chicken. Um, I add peppers and courgettes to this. And then you add the sauce and it's beautiful. Also got some noodles for stir fries. Got some beef tomatoes because I saw this recipe the other day on Pinterest, which was like sliced um, beef tomatoes and then slices of mozzarella with pesto and basil. Thought that'd be really nice. If you're like having a barbecue and you just want like a nice side salad, thought that would be really yummy. Got some more peppers, got some watermelon. The first thing the Tesco delivery guy said to me is someone likes watermelon. I got a selection of cereals, always love to have cereals. Um, okay, I'm really distracted right now by Tilly and the tap. 
guys, she's absolutely obsessed with this tap. Like, I've never... She's, she's obsessed with a lot of taps, right? But... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Just not quite in this way. I've never seen her so, like, besotted. Here she goes. <laughs> so, yeah, got a few different cereals. Got Crunchy Nut Clusters, the chocolate ones, which are so yummy. Curiously Cinnamon, because it's a blast from the past. Takes me back to my childhood. And Special K, Red Berries. Got some milk. Um, some hummus, always have hummus in the fridge because it's just such an easy lunch just to cut up some vegetables and have it in that. And then I also got these quinoa chips, um, sour cream and chai flavour, delicious, these are so good. Also, didn't mean to order a single banana, but what's that hanging from it? Oh my god, I thought that was a fly or something. The delivery guy said a lot of people put a single banana in their basket to hold their slot. So yeah, if you like to book your slot ahead of time, put a banana in your basket. Apparently, it works. This chicken is delicious. We had it on the barbecue last week. Um, and I thought I would get some just to keep in the fridge or freezer if we decide to have like a barbecue that evening. So then we've got some like essential barbecue bits, some chicken, some halloumi, and then I can make a nice salad. Before I put the food shipping away, I'm gonna take my daily dose of vitamins. I've got this big basket full of vitamins, which are all from my vitamins. You guys know I have an amazing discount code which will get you 55% off the entire website, which is incredible. They have so, so much to browse through. It's actually their ninth birthday coming up and they've actually created a really cute little birthday box which gives you guys the opportunity to try some of their best sellers. But I just wanted to talk you through some of my literal holy grails for my vitamins that I take every single day. So I've got a lot of the gummies. I love their gummies range so much. Such an easy, kind of like a little bit of a sweet treat way to take your vitamins. So a few of my favorite gummies that you guys need in your life are the apple cider vinegar gummies. I also have the vitamin D gummies, which are new. And I also have the multivitamin gummies. These are strawberry flavor. They literally taste like Haribo straws. They're so yummy. I look forward to taking these gummies every day. Jamie actually calls it sweet time because um, he has them with me. And then I also take two of the hair, skin and nail gummies, which are blueberry flavor. So yummy. I take these every day as well. And these are full of loads of goodness like zinc, vitamin C and biotin, which help support your hair, skin and nails. The hair, skin and nails also have vitamin B6 in there as well so they will actually help to reduce tiredness and fatigue I feel like I, I need all of these right now I'm very tired and very fatigued another one of my absolute holy grails is the coconut and collagen tablets these are actually one of the best sellers from my vitamins. These are amazing to keep your skin looking radiant and youthful. I don't know if you guys know, but as we age, our body's ability to create collagen actually decreases. And one of the first places that shows is actually in our skin. So by just adding a little bit of collagen into your diet, it just really helps your skin feel firm and tight. And then I also take a hyaluronic acid tablet every single day. These go great hand in hand with the coconut and collagen tablets because these are also amazing for your skin. These tablets actually help your skin retain their moisture, which obviously keeps it looking dewy and glowy. So if you are looking for, like if you're on a little bit of a skin journey at the moment, these two in a bundle will really, really help. And then maybe also add in the hair, skin and nail gummies as well. And then last but definitely not least, I take a biotin tablet as well. And the biotin tablets are great for hair, skin and nails, but also amazing to support your energy levels. So those are a few of my absolute favourites that I take every day. But yeah, as always, I will leave a direct link down below for my vitamins. Also, don't forget about my discount code because you can get more than half price off, which is incredible. Um, my plan for now is I'm going to take these vitamins. I'm going to make another coffee, pop the food shopping away. Um, I'm also going to get changed because this jumper is too hot. It's too hot. I hate to say it, but it's too hot to wear a sweater today. You guys know me. I would wear a sweater and joggers 365 days of the entire year, but I'm just too hot today. So I'm gonna have to put on a nice little dress so I can stay cool whilst doing my wardrobe. We've also got some guys coming over today to start boarding the loft, which is really, really exciting. We're getting the entire loft boarded, which means ultimate storage space for me. Very excited about that. Um, so yeah, they're coming in about an hour. I should think they'll probably be here for the next few days, potentially the rest of the week to get it finished. 
but I will keep you guys updated as always. Just another sunny day in Southern California. It's where the people came to play. Don't let them transform you. Oh. Hey. Come and see what you've been missing on a little slice of heaven. It's the only place for living. But living is that way. The loft is currently being boarded. I have just been cracking on with the wardrobe room for literally the past five hours, I'd say. But I feel like I've actually made really good progress and I'm so happy with it. It feels incredible to just have a place for everything. Um, I'll show you guys it properly when I'm done. I just, I'm currently sorting out these drawers. I wasn't really too sure what to do with these. I was going to pop like, um, like hair bits and stuff like that in there, but I've decided that they're just I feel like they're just great for clothes. So I've kind of gone for gone for like joggers and jogger shorts um, And underwear in this one which I need to organize and then pajamas in this one down here And I feel like that works really well and then I'm going to use this one at the bottom For like hair tools and stuff like that. Jamie is extremely excited because he's just received the bins and as you can see <laughs> straddling it putting the bin stickers on <laughs> wow <laughs> never seen someone's sticker sticker on a bin quite like this before top content guys how do you feel about building another ikea packs i feel like finally <laughs> I can get in here. Oh yeah, because this room has just been our clothes. Well, mainly my clothes. Obviously, just... my stuff always comes last. Jamie! No, it does. Don't say that's, that. That's my prerogative. What? Put you first. Jamie, that makes me feel bad. No, I do that. I like to get all the new stuff done, so you're on my back, basically. <laughs> and then I can relax and take mine as we go. So, Jamie's wardrobe is probably not going to take half the amount of time as mine is it no, because it's this. <laughs> Jamie's obsessed <laughs> with these drinks from my vitamins he absolutely loves them what flavor have you got Zero calories. it's basically like an energy drink but with added like goodness let me take over part two let's go and see how the loft's getting on <laughs> <laughs> Gemma giggling in the background oh. what have we got up here do 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 in for a treat <laughs> So here we go, the loft is taking shape. Yeah, all very nice and level. So he's put the little um, razor bits in so that you can rise above the insulation. You can't, you can't flatten that down or you lose all your integrity. Oh, all right, let's, let's go back down. So this basically is where Gemma's many hordes of things will belong. Christmas decorations, Halloween decorations, you name it. If it's got a decoration on the end of it, it's going to be up here. entire week actually um, the last time I spoke to you guys was on Monday and the loft actually ended up taking quite a bit longer than expected so all day every day it was just so loud um, and to be honest it's a good thing actually because I feel like I have lots of updates for you now whereas if I had kind of like ended this vlog on Tuesday Wednesday there wouldn't have been as many things to show you so it's worked in our favour it is the most gorgeous day it's so so nice not a cloud in the sky but along with beautiful days in the UK my nose spray is glued to my hand because my hay fever is so bad this year. I've heard so many people say like how bad the hay fever is. Um, 
if you struggle with hay fever this nose spray will be your best friend um this is the only thing that's ever helped me yeah hay fever tablets have never really worked for me um but my sister recently got some of this because she's really suffering this year and she said it really helps but you literally just have a few sniffs every day And it really helps just clear the nasal pass 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 passengers pass passengers passages. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, let me give you some updates. The dressing room update. As you guys know, I was going to have my dressing table along this wall here, um, and I we were going to kind of like make one. So we got some Alex drawers from IKEA, which I'll show you in a minute, and I was going to have those as the legs, and then we were going to get a big piece of like MDF, and we were going to wrap it in like a really nice kind of like really beautiful marble. Um, but I just felt like it. It just we put the we put the drawers where the dressing table is going to go and I was just like mm, I feel like it just ruins the room it makes it look too boxy um and also like my Hollywood mirror just didn't really go in here so we've decided I'm gonna make my dressing room dreams a reality and I'm gonna have an island because there's actually loads of floor space left in here so it's completely big enough for an island um and we're gonna be doing like an Ikea hack island and then Jamie's gonna build like a topper for it um, so it's also like a dressing table as well. So it's going to be island storage. It's also going to look really pretty, but it's going to be very multifunctional because he's going to build almost like a little breakfast bar that comes out of one side. Um, so I can get a lovely bar stool and like do my makeup and then it's going to face this window as well. So I'm going to have all of the natural light. Um, I can't wait for that. So yeah, I'm going to vlog it all for you guys just in case you are interested. But let me show you this room actually. If you're wondering why this door is open, it's because Teddy has found yet another place to sleep. He literally loves it in here. So I just keep a door open so he can obviously come in and out when he pleases so little update in this room is my curtain pole is up and my curtains which are the same as the bedroom um and then over here these are the alex drawers so these are actually two sets of alex drawers from ikea stacked on top of each other as you can see one set just comes up to there and these were originally going to be the legs for my dressing table um which were going to go here so with the space now, I bought a beautiful arched mirror from William Wood Mirrors. And I just feel like that's going to go so much nicer in this room. It's got a black frame, so it'll go with the light up here. The plan over here is, I've actually ordered another one of these. Another set of the Alex drawers, which will go up to about there. And these are just so handy. Like, I've been able to put all of my makeup stuff in here. My hair bits and, you know, just like a stuffed drawer of like random beauty bits. I've been able to have a few of those and I just feel like, oh my god. I'm loving all the storage and then the DIY island is going to go about here it's not going to take up too much room but it's going to look really really lovely um, I literally cannot wait for that can't wait to show you guys that but yeah super happy with how this room looks this little vase over here also love the little black legs on it this is from robinson's interior and then a few other little updates we have popped the curtains up in the hallway um kind of want to just go for like the same curtains all along this side of the house we are going to be getting blinds in every room eventually i just kind of like need to get around to that i haven't really looked into that yet but i really want um like wooden shutter blinds or maybe like wooden venetian blinds if you guys know anywhere that's good for blinds let me know um love how this looks here the light still needs to go up here and they are just waiting patiently for Jamie to put those up and the spare room looks like this so Jamie's got his wardrobes over here we are waiting for just a little one to go here which we're going to pick up from Ikea at some point and then plans for this room are I found a really gorgeous um, sofa that pulls out into a bed from made.com and it's like teddy bear material it's white and then it's got little black legs so I'm gonna get that to go in this area here and then I'm thinking like a really little side table with a lamp on here and a lovely shade there and then again curtains here and I feel like this will be a really lovely almost like multi-functional guest room also yesterday 
I had all of my little Ikea bits delivered, um, which I actually originally ordered with the wardrobes, but they came in a separate delivery. Um, Ikea's a bit of a nightmare with delivery, isn't it? It's like, I think it's £40 um, delivery, which obviously with like the wardrobes and stuff, it would have needed to be delivery because there's no, we would have had to get a van to pick these up because they are just so long. Um, but it's kind of annoying when you want like little bits because going to Ikea is a mission. Like you need to hype yourself up for that. Well, I feel like I do anyway. It's not really a shop that I could just pop into and have a browse. It's a shop that I need to like mentally prepare myself to go into. And it's the shop as well that I need a list for because I will end up buying everything. Um, but I got a few bits. So I got four of these wicker baskets, which were so cheap. They were like six pounds. Um, and I thought these would be fab for in the bathrooms, like in the cupboards. They're a really nice size, like they'll fit so much in. I actually have some bathroom shelves being delivered, I think tomorrow, which I'm so excited to style up. I kind of want the main bathroom to be like spa vibes. Um, I'll show you guys how I style them in the next video, which will be on Sunday. So I got four of those because I just couldn't believe how cheap they were. Then a little bit of a fail. This is the problem with buying Ikea stuff online. Like <laughs> you just can't see the size. So I bought bloody loads of these because I originally wanted these for the Alex drawers um, which are just behind you guys but they are far too long but everything happens for a reason because the new um, island drawers are like really 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 deep so I think these will fit into those perfectly so I'm gonna save these because I mean I bought a lot of them um, but these were like a pound so good you can get a slightly smaller version of these as well and I just thought these would be great for makeup and like hair tools just kind of keeping them all together toilet brush <laughs> and also this like white it's just a plain white over the door hook I like to have these in the bathroom just to keep like all of my dressing gowns on and stuff like that I also picked up four of these I'm not gonna lie thought these were really big <laughs> they're so small um but that being said, these will be fabulous for the bathroom storage unit. You know, I said to you guys, like, what should I use in these drawers? These will be great because I can keep little skincare bits in these. And then I also picked up as well loads of these bags. You guys know I rave about these. They're so good just to have in the house. And oh my goodness, Amazon ripped me off so bad with these. Um... <laughs> I read a few of your guys' comments because I've never bought them from actual Ikea. I never realised how cheap they were. These are a pound each and on Amazon they are £15 for three. How crazy is that? So yeah, if you want these bags, definitely go to Ikea. Um, I also picked up some drawer organisers for the kitchen. Just these bamboo ones. Um, and then some plain ones like this. And then this gigantic cutlery one. So yeah, that's everything I got from Ikea. Also, the H&M curtains are these ones, which I've used here and in the bedroom and in the hallway. Um, and I got two more packs because I'm planning on putting some in my office and also in the spare bedroom. I'm gonna sneeze. God damn it, hay fever. Oh no, I'm losing it. Trying to look at the light, I'm side eye in the window. <gasps> it's gone. Oh, that's the worst feeling when your nose feels all fizzy and you're like desperate to sneeze, but it just doesn't happen. <sighs> so, yeah, these are the linen curtains from HM. Really, really, really affordable. I think they are £40 for a set of two, which I genuinely don't think is too bad. I love these, I just think they look really just simple and pretty. Um, also, can't wait to show you guys my office. It's kind of like a bit of a mishmash of like old furniture and new at the moment. Um, my new desk is meant to be coming next week. So I'm just waiting on a few things for the curtain pole to go up. I'm waiting for um, this beautiful sideboard that I ordered and matching desk. So as soon as that's done as well, I'll do a whole office reveal. Oh my God, there's just, do you know what is so exciting? I feel like oh, everything is finally how I've always dreamt of my home being. Um, 
obviously before I've, I've never owned a home I've always just rented a home and I've always kind of like held off doing things and held off like buying things that I've always wanted because I've, I've kind of felt like I'll just wait until I buy a house because then at least I know that I'm going to be there for like a solid amount of time um but yeah it just feels really nice and it's really nice to be able to share like home updates with you guys and it makes me really happy that you enjoy it as well um and then a little delivery that I had yesterday which I'm obsessed with wild botanist new travel collection um candles they are amazing I love them so much so this is what they look like are oh, the medium sized jar you can also buy the large size jar but look how gorgeous they are I think they're so pretty definitely gonna have a few of these on the bathroom shelves um the scents are amazing my favorite is definitely paris at night um there's also so valencia and almafi coast so cute apparently you guys are loving the jamie takeover so what are we up to today <laughs> more of Gemma's dross by the looks of it so we've got her bath rack which is going to look a little bit different when it's done but she had a bit of a hard time finding one wide enough for the bath that she liked so obviously i'm going to make her one i've got this to put up today in the office so today is going to be getting my office sorted because i've got a lot to do and when it looks like this it's uh, not very um not very appealing to sit in and work so first things first first job is going to be this table here which Gemma absolutely hates by the way but I love it's a nice thick solid oak table needs a bit of like repair work doing to it but so I'm going to paint the legs black and then I'm going to go for like a dark oak dye to the top after it's been sanded and then yeah new light fitting above sort of industrial vibes yeah so then what have we got then whilst I've so once I've sanded and painted the legs waiting for those to dry I've got some teak oil because our porch needs treating it's a beautiful porch but they didn't put anything on it so it's getting watermarks and stuff and uh, apparently this is the stuff for the job so I'm gonna get my paintbrush out it's a nice sunny day and uh, treat our porch okay so I've sanded the first leg I'm just giving them a bit of a sand so that um to get rid of any of like the, the oil that was on there before so that the paint sticks to it properly and I've exposed this lovely grain look at this Gemma just doesn't appreciate that but unfortunately I'm going to be covering it with uh, black paint anyway <laughs> but this huge desktop is going to be beautiful so I'm going to get back to work pop you back where you are Step one complete. All sanded. I'm trying to work on my camera skills here. So the next step is to use this tack rag to remove any of the dust. Not necessary, but I found a tack rag and wanted to use it. So <laughs> give them a bit of a wipe and uh, get them prepped ready for painting. So the paint that I've got rather dangerously balanced on these pieces of wood here is Valsoir wood and metal you get it from B&Q and do you know what I would really recommend this stuff it's brilliant it goes on well it's good coverage and also the wall one has like a built-in primer as well so one coat normally does it so what I'm gonna do is go straight out of the tub I've given it a bit of a mix I mean it has just been mixed up at B&Q probably about an hour ago hour and a half so it's pretty well mixed but I'll give it another bit of a stir and uh, crack on and get the paint in. I've 
sanded a little patch of this uh, at the bottom of the table. So I want to test out my Jacobian oak wood die. I hope I've said that right. Jacobian, I think. So let's see what this looks like. Give me a second, right? I'll resume after I've opened it. Bloody hell! I'm glad I paused for that because uh, it had like some metal foil on there. I'm sure it's like an inch thick. Right, so I'm doing this with one hand. So I'm going to pour a bit on. It's thick. Oh. Right, I'm going to use my tack rag, what I used earlier. Rub it in. Ooh. That's nice, very nice. I think that's going to be perfect. Nice shine to it, so that's really bringing out the grain. Lovely. So, time for a little catch up. What have we done so far? So we're on the second coat of the um, table legs now so they're drying and then we've also got Gemma's bath rack so I forgot to vlog this before but all we've done is use some of this Gorilla Glue from B&Q Gorilla stuff is the best as well um, right so what we've done is we've just glued a small amount of glue along the edges and clamped it together this is oak from B&Q as well um, I think they'll cut it there for you, so you just measure your bath and make sure that it overlaps a little bit on either side, get them to cut it to the length. Um, put the edges up nice and smoothly, I'm going to trim these anyway, see. And also what I've done is, so I wiped it with water and uh, I don't know if you can see that but, so I wanted to get the PVA or the glue off and uh, it's gone a little bit mouldy in the uh, in the grain now so it's going to need a bit of sanding but hopefully that'll sort it out but yeah so I'll catch up in a minute And here we have it. More desk space than you can shake a stick at. Look at that. Oh, oh, just tripping over it. <laughs> just tripping over my tools and stuff. Right, so, all painted nicely. Sanded it, which actually took hours. And then um, oiled it with Danish oil, just natural, clear Danish oil. And then I managed to also Put my office light up. Look at that. Gemma said it's cosy, so it gets her approval. It's like a warm light, and uh, you can move it up and down as well. Not that I probably ever will, but there you go. So over here, in all the rubbish, <laughs> the mess of what what is my office at the minute. Um, I've also managed to sand and oil Gemma's bath board. I've cut the ends nice and flush as well. So I just glued it, as I said earlier, sanded it and then oiled it and yeah, cut the ends flush on the chop saw. I think I'm gonna give it another sand around the edges. I need to sand these edges properly and um, give it another oil and then it's ready to go on the bath. I think just keep it simple, but I've got a couple of little rails that I can put across this part to stop it from turning on the bar, so I don't know, we'll see how I feel. Loves, it is a lot later on in the day now. Um, I've just got back from Tesco's. <sighs> it's blooming hot out there, guys. Extremely hot. Um, I secured the barbecue snacks, got loads of lovely bits, and I've just been doing a little bit of computer work and also setting up my new phone, which Jamie got me. He was due an upgrade. Um, but because I bought him a phone for his birthday last year, he actually gave me his upgrade, which is so exciting and I'm very, very grateful for it because my phone is a little bit battered now and it honestly feels like I have like a Nokia 3310 at this point. Why do all iPhones do this? Like I feel like once you've had an iPhone for about a year and a half, they go ridiculously slow. It's like someone flicks a switch and they just go really slow. Um, so I am extremely grateful for this. Look how gorgeous it is. 
This is the iPhone 12 Pro Max, I believe. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting that set up today. So yeah, just wanted to come on and end this moving vlog. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, I also just wanted to let you know as well, my uploads over the next few weeks may be a little bit all over the place. Um, I'm not going anywhere, I'm not taking a break or anything. They just might not be every single Wednesday and Sunday. Um, purely because we have our Girl of Muse Autumn launch coming up very, very soon. And when you have a clothing brand, if you have a clothing brand, you will know, you have to be so ahead of like the launch. Like, for example, we started planning the autumn launch two months ago and the production time can be anything from like two to five months. So we've got a lot to get in place ready for that launch. Um, we actually received our samples yesterday, which is so exciting. They are amazing. They just need, I kind of need to go through them this weekend and just adjust the fit on everything slightly. We've just got a lot to kind of crack on with. I feel like because we've been moving for the past two weeks, Girl of Muse has kind of not been on the back burner, but it hasn't been like our top, top priority. So we kind of need to get like back on top of things over the next few weeks. And I know you guys will understand um but just wanted to let you know that my uploads won't be every single sunday and wednesday but i'll keep you updated over on instagram whenever there is a new video as always and yeah really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog um next video is going to be a day in the life vlog which will be on sunday and then another moving vlog um i had a few questions asking kind of like how long the moving vlogs are going to go on for i wish i could literally just film them forever because they are so fun by far my favorite do you know what they might hmm, i was about to say i might love them even more than christmas videos i feel like the same i feel like they're just as exciting and it's just really lovely to be able to take you along on this journey with us um so yeah moving vlogs from now will kind of be like in between other videos so whenever i have like a new room reveal or a lot of home updates i will of course like vlog it um and i'll pop it all together in a moving vlog but they won't kind of be like every single upload going forward hope you're all having a lovely week um wishing you all an amazing weekend and i will catch up with you guys on sunday Bye bye <laughs>